Welcome to Race Face TV and our Race Face driver update. Let's get started with one of our Race Face Next drivers. 13-year-old Joe Valento from Scandia, Minnesota was at Port City Raceway just outside of Tulsa, Oklahoma for his first micro sprint race of his career. Joe competed in the quarter midget series the last five years and made the move to micro sprint for 2018. Joe qualified through his heat straight into the A main and brought home a 12th place finish. Joe will be heading back to Port City this weekend. Why? Because there's still 15 plus inches of snow on the ground at his home track and they won a race so they're willing to make that 12 hour drive to get some track time. That's a committed driver and some dedicated parents. Race face driver Jesse Love made his second start of the year in his number 38 Home Smiles 5150 Energy Drink Sprint Car at Petaluma Speedway. Jesse qualified eighth, then brought home a fourth place finish in his heat that qualified him directly into the main event where he brought home another fourth place finish. This weekend, Jesse will be back with the BCRA Midgets at Merced Speedway on Saturday the 21st. Race face driver Ryan Vargas was introduced to the high banks of Bristol Motor Speedway for the first time on Saturday in the NASCAR k and Pro Series East Zombie Auto 150. Ryan qualified 15th. That time was hampered a little bit by another car that spun in his group during that qualifying session. But on Saturday, when the green flag dropped, he started inside row eight. This was a rough race that saw three red flags and a total of 10 yellow, and Ryan had one of many battered race cars to prove it. Ryan avoided several on-track incidents, got caught up in one, but still managed to stay on the lead lap and bring home a 13th place finish. Not bad for your first time at this tough old track. Ryan will be back in the NASCAR Wheelin' All-American Late Model Series on Thursday night in the Denny Hamlin Short Track Showdown at Langley Speedway. Race face driver Anthony Alfredo was also competing in the NASCAR k and Pro Series East Race at Bristol Motor Speedway. The MDM Motorsports team unloaded and they were fast right off the trailer, but had a scrape with the wall during qualifying and had to start shotgun on the field. But it didn't take long for the number 40 Seco Building Systems Toyota to march its way into the top 10. After some mid-race pit strategy, the MDM team worked their way to seventh with under 15 laps to go before getting sandwiched when another car tried to go three wide into turn one. This sent Anthony head on into the wall, destroying the race car. I talked with Anthony after the race and he shared that this was the hardest hit that he had ever experienced. The lesson to learn here is you can't go three wide in the corners at Bristol. Up next for Anthony, the k and cars at Langley Speedway on April the 28th. We have several race face drivers that are preparing for a busy weekend of racing. Jesse Love will be in the BCRA Midgets at Merced Speedway. Adam Lemke will be in the USAC HPD Midgets at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Ryan Vargas, NASCAR Wheelin' All-American Series at Langley Speedway. Sam Mayer will be back with Junior Motorsports in the Cars Tour at Orange County Speedway. And Sheldon Creed with MDM Motorsports in the ARCA Racing Series at Salem Speedway. Well, that's it for this week's Race Face Driver Update. Don't forget to check out our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Race TV. Make sure to check out your favorite Race Face Driver's website where you can get the real story from behind the wheel straight from the driver with our new Drive and Five. So go out there and make it a great race weekend by supporting local racing in your community. Good night, and we'll see you back here next week with more driver updates from your favorite race face drivers.